Fun at Kids Central, April Fool's Tricks. Izzy loved playing tricks on April Fool's Day. She hurried to get to Kids Central before the other kids. Soon, Nina came in. She pulled out a chair to sit beside Izzy. Ah! Nina screamed. A huge black spider was on her seat. Izzy laughed. She picked up the rubber spider. Nina laughed, too. <laughs> that was a good one. You scared me. Jason and Ethan arrived next. Jason hung up his backpack. Watch this. Izzy whispered to Nina. Jason and Ethan sat down. Izzy slipped something into Jason's backpack. Then she walked to the window and stared outside. A ribbit! A ribbit! Izzy spun around. What was that noise? It sounded like a frog! Everyone looked at Jason's backpack. A ribbit! Jason went to his backpack and slowly reached inside. It's not a frog, it's a... Jason held out a walkie-talkie. Izzy held up another <laughs> one. Here comes Bobby, Ethan whispered. Let's play a trick on him. Izzy quickly pressed a quarter to the floor with sticky stuff. Everyone watched as Bobby came in. Hey, I found a quarter. He bent down and tried to pick it up. But it was stuck. All the kids laughed at the trick. <laughs> Miss Shelley laughed too. Playing tricks is fun, she said. As long as it doesn't go too far. Never play tricks that hurt other people's feelings. Or tricks that damage property, Ethan added. That's right, Miss Shelley said. Can we play more April Fool's Day tricks? Izzy asked. Actually, we're going to make an April Fool's treat. Miss Shelley put a skillet on the hot plate. She pointed to some slices of cake. Everyone take a slice of pound cake. Butter it on both sides. Nina read from the board. Now, we brown our slice in the skillet. Ethan went first. It looks like toast. Right, Miss Shelley said. After everyone finished making the toast, it was time to make the egg. The kids spooned vanilla yogurt on top of the pound cake. Spread it into the shape of an egg white, Bobby read. Then put the apricot half in the middle. Nina grinned. It looks like a fried egg on toast. It's like dessert for breakfast, Bobby said. This will be a great trick to play at home, Izzy said. Oh, speaking of home... She ran to her backpack and came back with some sandwich cookies. Who wants a cookie? Uh, I do, maybe. Ethan took a cookie. He opened it to check for anything suspicious. Looks okay. He licked the icing. Yuck, it's toothpaste! April Fool! <laughs> Izzy laughed. <laughs> Let's go outside, Miss Shelley said. Izzy! Will you get a basketball from the closet? Izzy opened the closet door. Eek! She cried. Then she laughed. <laughs> That's a good one, Miss Shelley. The other kids crowded behind Izzy. <laughs> In the closet, all the balls had googly eyes. The April Fool The origin of April Fool's Day dates back so long ago that it is not clear when or how it got started. 
Some people say the day for fooling began in France, when a king agreed to change the yearly calendar. He moved New Year's Day from April 1st to January 1st. It was difficult to communicate in those days. So many people did not hear about the change. Some people continued to celebrate New Year's Day on April 1st. These people were called April Fools. When the king announced the new calendar, the neighbors in one village discussed it. Hey, did you hear that we have a new calendar? said one. Yes, New Year's Day does not fall on April 1st anymore. Now it is on January 1st, said the other. Now we have to celebrate New Year's Day in January when it is cold. That's right. By the way, do you think Lewis knows about this? The whole village knows, but Lewis will not accept it. As you know, he is a stubborn man. Lewis always insisted on being right. He did not listen very well to others, and his neighbors did not like him. Lewis always thinks that he is right. Yes, he does. Even when he is wrong, he never admits it, they said. When Lewis walked by, they called out, Hey, Lewis, do you know we have to celebrate New Year's Day on January 1st? Ha <laughs> ha! You believe that rumor? Lewis laughed. We always celebrate the New Year on April 1st. You are so foolish. His neighbors decided this was a chance to play a trick on him. Ha <laughs> ha! This is going to be fun! They laughed. The next day, Lewis's neighbor called him into his house. Hey, Lewis, will you do me a favor? If I can, Lewis said. Look, I broke my leg, said his neighbor. So I cannot deliver this important message to the lord of the next village. Will you take it for me? I have work to do, said Lewis. But it is not far to the next village, so I'll do it. But just this once. Lewis went to the next village and knocked at the door of the lord. Hi, this letter is from our village, he said when a servant answered. The servant read the letter and laughed. <laughs> Interesting, but I am sorry. This letter is not for the lord of this village. Would you deliver this to the lord in the next village? So Lewis went to the next village. The servant of the lord of that village also laughed when he read it. <laughs> Thank you, but this letter is not for my master. Please take it over to the lord of the next village. Lewis thought this was very strange. Didn't my friend know the right village to send this letter to? He wondered. The next village is too far away. I think that I have walked far enough. My friend must be wrong. I will return the letter to him. So Lewis returned home. He was very tired. He sat at his table and thought, Hmm. Why did everyone laugh when they read this letter? Out of curiosity, he opened it. The letter said, The new calendar moved New Year's Day from April 1st to January 1st. But I will celebrate New Year's Day on April 1st because I refuse to change. I am an April fool. Please send me to the lord of the next village.